Men in skirts and a rose ceremony shocker in Croatia. Hey guys, I'm Brian Corsetti and HollywoodLife.com has your Bachelorette Week 6 highlights. Last week was men in tights and last night the wardrobe du jour was skirts. The difference between a skirt and a kilt is uh, nothing. Okay, kilt, whatever. Bottom line, Emily Maynard likes putting her men in uncomfortable situations. But kudos to the bachelors for having fun with it. If that's what it takes for me to throw a log to find love with Emily, then I'm more than willing to do it. I mean, it could have been worse. They could have been the guy who was stuck in the friend zone. I'm ready to bust out of the friend zone. I am definitely prepared to fall in love with Emily. And I want Emily and I to exceed expectations. We knew that Travis was a goner when Emily started calling him things like sweet and comfortable on their one-on-one -on -one dates. I don't want you to think that you did anything wrong. I wish more than anything that I could pin this rose on you mm -hmm. and be the happiest girl, but I just, I can't. Yikes. And so we had our first elimination of the night, followed by the first man in tears of the night. I've got a heart this big. I really do. But Emily wasn't done cleaning house. She also surprisingly eliminates Ryan, the cocky but charming athlete from Texas. Wonder what could have turned her off. Oh, maybe the fact that he kept calling her trophy wife over and over again. You're like a trophy wife. Uh, there's that word there's again. That word. Every mm. man should believe his wife is a trophy. And with that, Ryan was sent home with the person he loved most, himself. Losing sucks. Nobody wants to be a loser. When you look at me, do you think I'm a, you're looking at winner? Later, Ari sneaks out to visit Emily in her room to see if she's okay slash make out with her some more. Meanwhile, single dad Doug completely breaks down over his failure to make a move on The Bachelorette. Um, <laughs> Is it awkward now? No, I'm just shy. Even worse, she almost gives the poor guy a heart attack when she tells him and John they are the two guys at risk of going home at the rose ceremony and she can't hand out the final rose. Love from Star Wars. Just when we sensed a double elimination coming on. Emily, the extra rose you asked for? <laughs> Thank you. So no one goes home during the rose ceremony and all is right with the world. Until next week when someone goes home and more man tears flow. <laughs> What's wrong with this show? Well guys, that's it for now. To stay up to date on everything Hollywood, log on to HollywoodLife.com and be sure to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.